Just to continue on the element of culture and translation and Lefebvre and what Lefebvre looks at um, in his um, uh, ideology or uh, in, uh, of, uh, in translation, um, he is talking about, when he was talking about the uh, Qasida, which is the, um, uh, what he says in his chapter, the chapter was called uh, In the Case of Missing Qasida. Uh, which means that he uh, that the Qasida was missed in the translation. It's becoming, uh, being becoming a rewrite, um, uh, which was Labid bin Rabia's Qasida in this case. He was talking about, even though he has actually mis um, uh, spelt uh, the name of uh, Labid bin Rabia um, in his uh, uh, that chapter. Also, he missed um, Al Mutanabbi when Al Mutanabbi uh, talked about. Al-Sayfu wa Al-Qurtasu wa Al-Qalamu wa Al-Rubhu wa Al-Qurtasu wa Al-Qalamu He has actually made it into the guest as being wa Al-Dayfu wa Al-Qalamu He is translated as a, the guest, the sword and uh, the pen and paper uh, So uh, anyway, um, the literary, for, for Lefebvre uh, in the 90s the literary system in which translation functions is controlled by two aspects uh, according to Lefebvre. Uh, one aspect is professionals within the literary system in the Western um, uh, culture, um, and, the, uh, and, and these professionals within the literary system who partly determine the dominant poetics um, uh, how, as to how to translate al qasida the poem, the long poem in Arabic, into English. So they have to impose some of the uh, target culture uh, poetics in the uh, translation of the poem. Uh, the second element or the second factor which affects uh, in, in the literary system uh, is, is the patronage. And patronage outside, of course, the literary system, which partly determines uh, the ideology here. Okay, and that's really important. With regards to the professionals uh, who are in the, within the uh, literary system, and that is the inner circle, and that they include uh, actually the critics, the reviewers, all of these ones, and the translators themselves who decide on the poetics as well. And, and, and that's what he, uh, Lefebvre is saying. And at times they influence the ideology of the translated text, as in the case of Fitzgerald, as I said earlier in the previous uh, recording, with regards to Lefebvre. And this is the second recording, of course. Uh, of course, the outside circle... Uh, that influences uh, the, uh, the, the actual translation is the patronage, which is outside the literary system. And the patronage plays a big part. And what is meant by patronage here is it's the powers, it's the people or uh, the institutions who actually may hinder the actual reading and writing and rewriting of the culture, of the, of the literature, sorry, of the translated literature. Because the translating culture is influencing uh, these, uh, and, the, and, and the patrons, uh, in the patronage, there are certain parties here involved, and that influence this. Like, for example, influential people, um, um, it can be a group of publishers, or somebody in the media, or in a political uh, class, uh, or a party, or institutions who regulate the distribution of certain literature and literary ideas. Also, uh, that include also academics, even journals can influence that. So it's this kind of influence uh, between the uh, 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 professionals and patronage. And this is what actually I'm going to show you this in terms of what, um, what is being uh, as a two circles here, uh, which are really uh, uh, are influencing the actual way of translating the actual um, the actual um, uh, work uh, in the literary uh, work in the case of Al Qasida. So, and then also, I mean, there are elements in the patronage which are identified by Lefebvre in his book uh, uh, with regards to the uh, influence. And he, he talked about three different elements uh, uh, to that influence, or that he has identified. He has identified three elements or three aspects uh, to the patronage. Uh, and, and they are the ideological component, which contains the choice of topic and the choice of uh, subject and how you present it, the form of presentation, uh, is influenced by the ideology. 
and uh, he adopts uh, the definition of ideo ideology that is not restricted to only political, but it can be also uh, in involving the belief, the convention, the form, uh, which, uh, which actually dictates our, our actions here. And that's how he sees uh, patronage. And also the other aspect from the three elements uh, uh, that, are, uh, that he has identified is the economic component. And that is who is paying the writers, the translators here, uh, and, or, or the rewriters, in, in fact, in the case of translation, in terms of what are the fees for these translators, how much they get for this, and how much royalty, uh, royal payments they get for their translations. And also these are influencing, um, these patrons, patrons are influencing because they are funding the translation itself and the translators are just only receiving the money. So that is really another uh, uh, important uh, component uh, which affects the translation itself here uh, in this case. The third uh, element that he's talking about, uh, Lefebvre talks about, is the status component. And that is also yet another element here. And this status component can be in different shapes and forms, uh, uh, you know, for, for, you know for in return for some uh, for money for payment uh, from the person who is paying for the patron, in whether it was or whether it is literary press or, uh, uh, or a benefactor. Uh, uh, the beneficiary is often expected to conform to the expectations of the patron. So whatever the patron expects, you are to actually be conforming to in terms of sometimes they might actually even um, may um, uh, 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 edit down some parts of the text, uh, uh, the translated text, for a specific reason. Um, so, uh, so there's a kind of this influence by uh, the expectation by the patron, which is really worrying in the translation. And of course, um, uh, you have to, uh, when you are translating for this group, if it's a political group or religious group or whichever group you are translating uh, for them, um, this will affect um, uh, the behavior uh, in a way that's conducive to supporting this group or to supporting their belief in, in, in a certain way. And that affects the translation itself into another language. So the actual um, uh, translating culture um, is the one that influences uh, in this way. According to Lefebvre, these three elements, which is the economic component, the actual status uh, component, and of course the ideological component uh, are affected. Now, the choice of the subject for the ideological, um, the, the way you present that subject, the way you present it um, in the case of Omar al-Khayyam, how it was presented and and, 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 and also the Arabian Nights, how it was presented, um, uh, whether we translate it as 1001 Night or we translate it as um, domesticated way, uh, are the Arabian Nights, in order to fit in with the uh, conventions of the translating culture. So, I mean, the patronage is really uh, influencing uh, uh, the, uh, our action in a way. So that's, I mean, our action, when I'm saying um, our action, we're talking about the action of the translators themselves who are being influenced by these three elements uh, or three components.